You know, it doesn't make sense if it stayed nasty outside when I moved my setup in here. As soon as I move everything inside, it gets perfectly nice outside. Just my luck. Anyway, welcome back friends. So in a previous video, we installed a solar controller and a very small panel uh, on the Jeep. Basically the panel was there so I could add it, uh, basically add it onto the Jeep when it stored for a long time, just to keep the battery topped up and maintained so that, uh, well, I didn't come back with a lower dead battery. I just wanted to keep the battery healthy. However, uh, the ultimate reason for installing that was so that I could put a bigger panel on the roof. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna put a nice 100 watt panel so that when we stay in areas for longer periods of time without running the Jeep, we have the ability to run the fridge and keep all the electronics charged and everything that, that we use when we're uh, overlanding or camping or whatever. So with that, we do have to install this very carefully. We can't just go throwing this thing on the roof because I use almost all the roof rack as it is now. We throw fuel, a swag, firewood up there and I can't really take that space away. But I think I have a really unique solution on how to install this panel so that we keep as much space possible and keep um, the, all the space usable, as usable as possible. Yeah, anyway, so first thing we have to do, we actually have to get the rack off the Jeep so we can do some welding on it and uh, modify it to how we need it. With that, let's get into it. kind of go over my idea. So I have these Rotopax gas tanks. I want to set one right about here. Actually, honestly, even though I have two, I only ever take one with me. And what I thought we could do is we could take this panel and just put it right over top like that. And then what we'll do is we'll put some hinges back here uh, and we'll put a latch on this side. When you undo the latch, you'll just be able to rotate it up, put your gas can out, Rotate it back, lock it up. This is going to give you a spot for the gas can, me a spot for the gas can, uh, when I want it or when I don't. As far as the mount, I just ratchet strap these things to the roof anyway. I don't use the mounts anymore. So that's perfect. The other thing this does that I didn't think about till just now, um, it actually keeps these rotopacks out of the sun and underneath the panel. Uh, that's actually a big problem with rotopacks. You, you, honestly, if you put them in direct sunlight for too long, they swell and bulge. So this kind of keeps them out of direct sunlight, which is uh, kind of cool. And it keeps all the rest of the rack open for all the other junk that we have. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good idea. Honestly, I have a thought here. Let me know what you guys think about this idea. But, I have a thought here. I'm thinking about getting some more of this uh, square tubing here Instead of these bars, see these bars sit on top and bolt in, but instead of these bars sitting on top, I'm thinking about just welding them straight to this piece, this center piece here, flush. Drop them down flush. That would probably give us about an inch or half an inch. I think these are half inch, but yeah. That might work, that might work. I'm gonna have to explore that option. this out some of these bars actually the, the little nut certs that are embedded in these were actually bad and some of them were loose so those needed to be cut off anyway I'm gonna have to fix that or just like I said weld bars in here but I have these in here for spacers so I can do this here and kind of measure and actually this tank now sits flush perfectly flush with this frame and because of that when we put this panel over it We now have a perfect gap underneath. It's about half an inch. So 
the fuel tank is actually not touching this panel whatsoever and actually won't even when it's full of gas there's there's totally enough room it's actually more than half an inch it's this whole entire uh frame here i want to say it's a little over an inch i think it's an inch and three eighths is what they claim online so yeah the the tank actually does not come uh anywhere near this frame so i think that's plenty of clearance right now now what we'll be, have to figure out how to do is we're gonna have to weld all those bars back in place i'm probably have to, gonna have to get a little bit of uh get a little bit of steel to finish this project out in order to do that but i think what we'll do is we're gonna go and mark out where we want all the bars weld cut them weld them all in place so they're permanent it's gonna probably be stiffen the rack up a little bit but I don't think I want this in this corner. Um, looking at it, I think the easiest thing is to actually put it in the driver's side rear corner because there's an access for me to run the wires up into my uh, charge controller back there. I think up here near the front would actually be the worst idea. All right, there you have it guys. So there is my idea on how to put a solar panel on a roof rack without taking up all your roof rack space. Uh, that's the biggest problem, right? You put a roof rack and people usually just suck it right to the roof right to the rack and then everything underneath you can't use. You have this giant square on your roof rack, it was just unusable. Yeah, you're getting solar panel, which is a big benefit or solar power. And, and it's a big benefit and does allow you to, you know, camp a little longer and run your fridge and stuff like that. But it's just such a wasted space. So in my case, we're gonna raise that panel up a little bit, use the space underneath very, very efficiently by placing something I really need, which is just one extra fuel tank. I don't need anything else. Um, I just need one extra fuel can. Um, and then we're, we're pretty good to operate just like that. So if you have any questions, concerns, just general comments, ideas for the whole project, let me know below and uh, I'll, I'll, take them into, I'll take them into account when I'm going through this and seeing what we can come up with because I think it's pretty unique. By putting hinges and latches on that solar panel, we can you know flip it up and grab the tank easy or you know, maybe make a box into there eventually if we don't need the tank anymore. I, I doubt we wouldn't, but you never know. You know, things change. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the project's really cool. I'm gonna have to stop here and end the video here. I don't have steel to finish out uh, the rack tonight. And I also need to go through and really plan where I wanna place these bars. And there's a few little upgrades I wanna do the rack anyway uh, to make it a bit more usable and just uh, bring a little bit more functionality to the rack. I don't add too much still because I don't increase too much weight, but I think there's a, a, a way to do this that's gonna make the rack just way more usable uh, in the future going forward. Anyway, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.